Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit create test data for Apex test from the module Apex testing. This is the last unit of this module. So here we are going to create an Apex class by the name random contact factory. And this, is, this will be a contact test factory. So we are just going to create a data. We are not going to insert it as uh, it is mentioned in this challenge. You can uh, check it out here that do not insert the generated contact records into the database. Then we are going to create a public static method in which two parameters will be passed. First will be the count uh, in which our loop or the number of contacts need to be generated. First parameter will be of type integer. Then the second parameter is of type string, which will contain the last name. So two parameters. First one will be the number of contacts that we have to create and second one, the last name. Then uh, here we have to uh, make sure that the return type is contact, list of contact. So let's quickly launch our Trailhead Playground and go to develop a console where I will be yeah. So here I am going to create a new Apex class by the name which has been provided in our challenge, which is random contact factory. I'm going to paste it in the name text area, remove any extra spaces, click OK. So this will create an Apex class for us. Now create a public static method. The return type as mentioned has to be of list of contacts. So I'm going to place that here. And the method name, I'm going to copy it from the challenge itself, which is generate con random contacts and paste it here in the code. Now the parameters that need to be passed are type of integer, uh, which will decide the number of contacts. And the another one is of type string, which will be last name. Start the method. Now here we have to create a, a create contacts based on this record. So I will be using for loop here. So for integer i is equal to zero to i less than this parameter that we are passing here. i plus plus. This will increment our for loop. Now inside this, we are going to simply create contact records by creating an instance variable on obj is equals to new contact. Now inside this, I'm going to pass a few details that is mentioned over here. So here, an integer that controls the number of contacts being generated. Uh, we have covered that. We have a loop graph for loop uh, till the parameter that we are passing. Then the next thing is uh, that we have to make our first name unique based on the iterated number of test uh, format in the format test one, test two, and so on. So I'm going to specify, uh, specify my first name in this similar way. So first name has to be is equals to in the format like that. And this will be this. So this is uh, this will be in the same way like test zero. I value is uh, incremented by one, to, um, so it will be test one, test two in the same way. Then I have to specify the last name from the value which is being passed in this parameter is equal to paste it over here. That's all we have to do now. Just add this into a list. So say I have a list called list dot add this instance variable and just create a list outside this for loop of type contact. Name it as con list, which we have used in a for loop is equals to new list of type contact. And terminate it. And outside this for loop, just return this list. That's it. Save this code. Uh, it should not give any errors. Yeah, it got saved successfully. Now just quickly go back to our challenge and click on this check challenge button. Hopefully this unit should be passed with all the test cases and this module as well. Let's just wait to give out the results. Okay. 
there you go this unit along with this module has been completed see you in the next video with another unit our module till then take care